Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to show you the download manager on the Synology DS212J. Actually having a good download uh, software on a NAS makes a lot of sense because uh, you can actually download the files directly onto the NAS and you can download even files and you can also download torrents uh, directly to the NAS even when your computer is switched off. The other good thing about uh, downloading the files directly on a NAS is that once the files are downloaded, they'll be accessible to all the computers and devices that are connected to the NAS. So multiple devices and computers can access that file instantly. And I'm happy to say that the download manager on the Synology NAS is excellent and uh, it offers us a lot of functions. So let's have a look at the same. This is the Synology uh, DSM manager and you control the entire NAS through the same and it's based on a web interface and it works like an operating system. It works excellent and it works with any browser and we have a lot of modules like audio station, download station and now we're going to look at this download station and this is a full feature download client. Uh, you can download torrents, you can also download uh, files directly from the web and I like that very much apart from the torrent client. I have tried uh, uh, downloading some torrents, it works beautifully with the same and I also download a lot of podcasts. Uh, as you can see I have downloaded these three podcasts and it works brilliantly. You can also add a basically RSS feed for video downloads and that way you can easily download and automate the task of downloading your favorite video files. And I'm going to show you how to do a web download, it's really easy. Uh, let's go to this revision 3 website. I generally watch these videos whenever I get free time and uh, I like to download it on my computer. I watch it sometimes on my, uh, what do you say, Android phone, sometimes on the iPad and sometimes on the uh, computer itself. So it makes sense to load this uh, video on the NAS and thereby I can uh, basically stream it to any of the devices. So let's just download this file. I'm going to use this large file. I just right click this file and copy this link. And what I need to do is I need to just open and paste it in a notepad and save this file. I'm just going to save this file and the file name is download underscore URL dot text. And what we need to do is we need to go to this download station in our Synology NAS web interface and click on this create icon. And here I just select that file download URL dot text and just hit the create button. And as you can see it immediately starts uh, downloading this file. So if you have a lot of big files that you need to download, you can just assign them like this and shut off your computer it will be downloaded automatically. Uh, you can also download torrents and I'm going to show you the same. Uh, let's uh, download the torrent for the Ubuntu and I enter that here in the search pane and press enter. And basically it's going to search now for the Ubuntu torrent and as you can see it has found the Ubuntu torrent and uh, I'm going to take up this and double click on the same and that should assign the Ubuntu torrent. As you can see this Ubuntu torrent is getting assigned and it's going to uh, start getting downloaded pretty soon now. And it also gives you the details regarding the torrent. You can see the number of trackers, peers and the file info itself. And as you can see, it has already started downloading. And in this pane, you can see that it's downloading the file. And it says it's going to take about one hour, 32 minutes to download the same. I have tried this uh, download manager with multiple files and it works brilliantly, it didn't have any problems. And I also streamed a video via this NAS to my DLNA enabled uh, uh, TV and uh, it didn't have any problems serving the media and downloading the files at the same time. So it works brilliantly and I have noticed that it downloads the torrents really really fast uh, without any issues. I have a 15 Mbps uh, internet connection and it was easily able to saturate the same. You also get to you can also fine tune the settings of uh, the downloads by going to these settings option and it offers a ton of options for example uh, uh, it, you can specify the maximum upload rate, the maximum download rate, etc. So this is actually a full feature download clients. 
So I'm highly impressed with this download manager and it uh, offers us a lot of uh, innovative features like RSS feeds, etc. So that you can also automate your downloads. This NAS also has a lot of other features like you have uh, audio station. We also can set up uh, a photo sharing site with the same and I'll get uh, and I'll show you all those things in another video. I hope you found this video helpful. That's it for now. This was Ranjit for tech2buzz.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.